Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you by the Paper of Montgomery County Online in living color from the Paper's Control Room in downtown Crawfordsville. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Wednesday, June 1st, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by the Indiana Poison Center. Children act fast. So do poisons. Call the Indiana Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222 for poison prevention tips and treatment advice provided free 24 hours a day. In our top story today, Fuel Streamers Incorporated of Houston, Texas is willing to pay $975,000 for the Crawfordsville Electric Power Plant. The bid stated Fuel Streamers Incorporated agrees to hire the CELMP power plant personnel currently on staff. It also agrees that Fuel Streamers will provide at least 18 megawatts of emergency generating power within 36 months of the purchase of the plant. The board voted 5-0 to zero to take the bid under advisement. We'll be back with more local news right after this. I'm Kim Van Matry from the Paper Montgomery County. I'm looking for the best salespeople out there. The economy is tough, the gas is high, and this job can pay for all that. It's a hard job, it's only for the best, and it can be rewarding as hell if you're good at it. I want someone who is energetic, who likes working with people, who likes to work, and has a great personality. I'm offering great benefits. Insurance, a base salary, great commission, gas allotment, and much more. Call or email me if you have what it takes. Paper trivia. It's your chance to win prizes by showing off how much you know. If you've got all the answers, click on this tile on our homepage to go to the paper trivia section. Answer correctly, you could win. Crawfordsville High School art students of Marianne Ballinger decided that they would use an extra study hall to develop a project about Montgomery history. Each student is painting a tile featuring something about the county. The students visited the Lane Place and decided to display the tiles there during the Strawberry Festival so that the visitors can view them. The tiles will later be put together to form a mural at an undetermined location. Well, when you turn to our comics page, we hope you enjoy our newest cartoon, That A Baby. The artist behind the hilarious scenes involving a baby and his parents is Paul Trapp. Paul and his creation were finalists in the contest sponsored by Amazon at Universal UClick. In fact, Paul has a Crawfordsville connection, so stay tuned to Tim Timmons' column in the upcoming weeks for more. And in the meantime, enjoy That A Baby. On Tuesday, Thomas Hainwald was dropped as defendant in a lawsuit brought by Robert and Stacy Smith against Hainwald Beta Psi Home Association of Delta Psi Delta Tau Delta at Wabash College in 2010 after Johnny Smith died of acute alcohol poisoning in 2008 while attending Wabash. North Montgomery and Southmont held graduation ceremonies on Saturday. This coming Saturday at 4 p.m., Crawfordsville High School seniors get to wear their caps and gowns. And Frank Phillips' guest this week on Frankly Speaking is local pastor and chaplain Alan Goff. Frankly Speaking can be found under webcast on the top navigation bar of our website. Or to make things more convenient, click on this tile on our homepage to watch this week's episode directly. Today's news is brought to you in part by the National Guard. There's a moment you reach deep inside yourself when you find the courage to fight through the elements and the strength to save a life. These are the kinds of moments you'll experience in the National Guard. If you've got it inside you, this is your time to act. Visit the Guard online at nationalguard.com or call 1-800-GO-GUARD. Local weather with Indiana's weatherman Paul Poteet and local sports are both up next. Bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Gould's Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Gould's will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the iCar Gold Class Specialist take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Gould's will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Gould's Body and Paint, our business is a wreck. It's meteorologist Paul Poteet, Indiana's weatherman, here from Studio B with a look at a beautiful day. No holds barred. We had a cold front move through. The rest will be history. And we'll talk about it today. Sponsored by Gould Body and Paint. They're at 607 Waynetown Road in Crawfordsville. You give Diana or Don a call. The number is 364-1067. It's Gould Body and Paint, where their business is a wreck. Well, uh, first of all, 
the winds always play an important part in the weather, right? And we actually had a cold front that went through overnight. I thought it would cause a, a little more consternation as it approached yesterday with showers and thunderstorms. And we went in some parts of the state, we went under a severe thunderstorm watch, but really not a whole lot came of that. And that pushes to the south today. And most importantly, it shifts those winds around behind that front to more of a west northwesterly direction that brings in some drier air. So it is not going to be as humid today, especially through the late morning and into the early afternoon hours. Less humidity today. Temperatures are still going to be above average. It's still going up to around 85, 86 degrees here, 87 in Bloomington, 86 also in Terre Haute. And still up, you know, once you get closer to the front, it's still going up to about 90 in Evansville and 89 uh, down around Louisville. But summer-like without the humidity. I mean, what more do you want? These are the days that you dream about back in you know January and February. Sun, but not too sticky. That's the story for today. Northwest wind about 5 to 10 miles an hour. I'll try to uh, kind of give you a big picture here of what we're looking at. The cold front this afternoon drops down to the south. High pressure takes over, and that controls that circulation as winds go clockwise around that high. So you see it in western Illinois. The winds coming off of that will be west-northwest for us today. Now, earlier, it looked like that warm front section that you see back out to the southwest, like that would come back up on us and bring us a chance of storms on Thursday. Now I'm thinking really not so much. I don't think we have to, to worry about that on uh, Thursday. We will have some clouds around on Thursday night, and humidity will start returning on Friday behind the warm front. Today, the warm front stays out to the southwest, and there could be some severe storms from about the western part of Nebraska and Kansas into eastern Colorado and into a corner of the Texas Panhandle and also back toward uh, New Mexico. But for us, you know, a couple of drier days. And then as you see here, uh, once we get into Thursday and uh, Friday, or excuse me, Friday and Saturday, as you look at the next uh, few days, heat and humidity will be returning once more on Friday. Those high temperatures will be up uh, into the upper 80s to low 90s and then just low 90s across the board across the state by the time we get into uh, Saturday. So humid conditions will come back then. All in all, here's what we get when we put together the extended forecast from PaulPotit.com. About 86 for the high today, less humidity around. Tomorrow, 84 degrees. Tomorrow night will be mostly cloudy, but then back to the sun and lots of heat and humidity. Upper 80s to around 90 Friday and Saturday. Sunday into the mid 80s, and it may cool off a little bit as we head into next week. The overall thing to take from this is the weather turns generally quieter than after the May that we just finished with above normal precipitation and several you know, devastating uh, or at least uh, very troublesome severe weather events. We could use the break, all right? So take it. Uh, if you're looking for some fun and want to double-check the radar, though, always join me online at paulpotit.com and stay tuned for more Montgomery County news, sports, and my weather right here on Paper News 24-7. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we don't offer washers, paint, or lumber. Floor covering is our expertise for your home or office. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we offer luxurious styles of carpeting and realistic looking vinyl patterns, and we do it better than anyone else. You'll fall in love with the possibilities at Zahn's. All backed by professional installation, superior personal service, and our three-year installation warranty. Stop by Zahn's today and see why we want to be everywhere you are. I'm Stu Clampett with your local sports for Wednesday. Candace Warman will return later in the week. The Athenians could make a long run in this year's tournament, but even if they play only one more game, they will have several athletes add their names to the Crawfordsville Baseball individual record book, and even some who currently hold the all-time record in the Athenian program. Athenians Joel Hobson, Jordan Jackson, and Chris Minks have all put themselves in individual season record lists in various categories, and Caleb Rasmussen, Corey Rice, and Jake Zorowski have exceptional records as well. The Athenians play in the IHSAA Regional on Saturday. They are set to take on the regional host Mount Vernon at 11 a.m. in Fortville, Indiana. For more information on the Mountie Girls Basketball Camp, the Crawfordsville Future Lady Athenians Basketball Camp, a free tennis clinic at North Montgomery and a Wabash baseball camp for boys, both boys and girls going into grades 4 through 8, as well as details on Crawfordsville's Aquatic Center helping out during the closure of Milligan Park and the Waynetown Dip and Dive Pools. All you have to do is look in today's sports section in the paper of Montgomery County. And don't forget to follow Montgomery County Sports at The Paper Sports on Twitter. That's your local news for Wednesday. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy of the paper of Montgomery County. 
For Paper News 24-7, I'm Stu Clampett.